What's up guys, we're here at Ola Denise Beach and in this video we're going to be paragliding. So this is one of the most popular activities in all of Turkey. Definitely the most popular activity here in Ola Denise. And we're actually standing here at the landing point on the beach because we're going to be jumping from one of these mountains here behind us. So enjoy the video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Orla Denise is a beach town along the turquoise coast in the southwest of Turkey. It's located about 14 kilometers or nine miles to the south of Fethiye at the conjunction point of the Aegean and Mediterranean Sea. Orla Denise is known for its sandy bay that sits amidst the aquamarine sea and a blue lagoon. It's also a prime location to explore other amazing tourist attractions from. In this video, we'll dive into the best things to do in Orla Denise and the surrounding area. The seventh best thing to do in Orla Denise is to explore the city of Fethiye. Many travelers base themselves in Fethiye and then head to Orla Denise as a day trip, but we actually recommend doing it the other way around and exploring Fethiye as a day trip from Orla Denise. Fethiye is a bustling city with many great restaurants, cafes, and shops scattered around the Old Town and the Beach Boulevard. In addition, the city has some historical features, such as the rock-cut tomb of Amintas, which is located in the cliff overlooking the city. It's definitely worth a visit. Right outside of Orla Denise, you can find a handful of other lush, narrow valleys. Some of the most impressive ones include the Butterfly Valley and Kabak. You can get here by either driving or by doing a boat tour. We drove to both valleys, exploring the various viewpoints on the cliffs. These views are simply breathtaking. However, it's almost impossible to walk down to the beach from above. So if you want to swim and relax on the beaches of the valleys instead, we recommend taking a boat tour from Orla Denise. At number 5, we have the nearby riverside town of Dalian. This laid-back town is located about 70 kilometers or 44 miles to the west of Orla Denise. It's home to beautiful lakes, a winding river, dramatic Lycian tombs hewn into the rocks, and a unique stretch of beach. But it's also beautiful from above. We highly recommend driving up to the Radar Hill viewpoint. It's absolutely otherworldly looking, and especially stunning at sunset. Dalian is a true hidden gem, and we believe it will become more popular in the next few years as hotels emerge in the area. So we're in Dalian now, which uh, is about an hour from Ola Denise. It's kind of a hidden gem of the area. Not a lot of people come here, but it's got beautiful rock tombs and also a really amazing view over the bay. So it's definitely worth a visit. The fourth best thing to do in Ola Denise is to visit the beach and the Blue Lagoon. This is probably the most photographed beach of Turkey's southern coast, famous for its varying shades of turquoise and azure, as well as soft sands. The beach and lagoon are the perfect place to relax on a hot summer day. The calm waters of the ocean and the shallow waters of the lagoon make it great for swimming, but you can also decide to take a paddle or a canoe along the rocky shores of the inner lagoon.
If you aren't planning to go paragliding, but you still want to experience the famous views of Orla Denise Beach and the lagoon, then we recommend hiking to one. The most beautiful viewpoint of Orla Denise is along the long distance Lysian Way hike. It's a short hike that starts at the Montana Pine Resort and follows a wide dirt trail for about two to three kilometers. The views are absolutely breathtaking and you can walk as long as you desire. Alternatively, you can take the gondola up to Badabag Mountain, which is the mountain where the paragliders jump from. From here, you'll have even more elevated views of Orla Denise and beyond. The second best thing to do is to visit the ghost town of Kaikui, right outside of Orla Denise. Completely abandoned since 1923, Kaikui is home to hundreds of stone houses slowly falling into decay. With origins in the 14th century, this town was forcefully abandoned at the end of the Greco-Turkish War, when a population exchange meant that Muslims and Christians were exchanged between Greece and Turkey. Today, you can visit the hillside community and see the homes and churches that are still standing. Preserved as a museum village, you do have to pay a small fee to enter. So we're here in Kayakoi right now and it's this ghost town. It's pretty cool to walk around because there's like little streets and you can actually see buildings all around you. So it's definitely worth a visit. Our favorite thing to do in Orla Denise is to go paragliding. Orla Denise is known as one of the world's best places to go tandem paragliding because of its breathtaking panoramic views and favorable wind conditions. Badabak Mountain, where you jump from, is also one of the highest commercial takeoff sites in the world, with a height of 1,960 meters or 6,500 feet. This makes for a thrilling and unique experience. We jumped with Hanuman Paragliding, which is a reputable paragliding company in the area. They drove us about 30 minutes to the top of the mountain, and then we flew for about 30 minutes from there. Check out the link in the description below to book your own paragliding experience in Ola Denise. It was amazing though. Everybody should do this in all the Denise. It's like probably one of the best locations in the world to paraglide. There are some other things to do in and around Ola Denise that we didn't mention in this video. These include a boat tour to the different bays, as well as visiting the ruins of Tlos. There are other activities in the vicinity that we highlight in our video about the best things to do in Kash, so make sure to check out that video as well. Alright guys, that's it for our video on the best things to do in Orla Denise. Which activity are you most excited to do yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to our channel for more turkey videos, and download our free giveaway in the description below. Catch you on the next adventure.